Welcome back in friends to another Black Clover mobile video. Today we are going to make my tier list. Um, what I'm going to do in this tier list is I'm going to base characters off of the most usability that I've gotten out of them on my account and explain kind of where I've used them and why I've chosen to use them over other characters as well. So this is uh, completely my personal opinion. Obviously, um, just to preface this, I have spent a little bit of money on my account. So maybe like a light, light dolphin by no means um, have I pushed like crazy amounts of money or anything like that. I would say maybe a maximum $100 or something like that um, since the release till now. And most of it has actually just gone towards getting the max dupe of Noel and Julius. Truly, that was it. I uh, didn't really spend on the Licht and Raya banner or anything like that. So these are my regards to the characters. And we're just going to go through like the SSR characters um, and some of the SR characters as well. We're not going to touch on any of the uh, green characters that I can think of. Yeah, we're not going to touch on any of the green characters. So we'll leave those be uh plus there is some like season fives and uh season fours and stuff like that as well so the characters that are not out yet physically on global we will leave those be and i'm just going to go in order down the row and pick out the ones so beginning of the game when it first came out um season one asta i used him a bunch uh, I would put him probably, I, 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 honestly, I would put him in S rank if we were still in season one because I used him for everything. I mean, honestly, he got me through that. Like he is a high bursty damage character, like built, um, doesn't even, honestly, doesn't even need to be built to the best, uh, like possible gear and stats and everything like that. He just performs well when you pair him with certain characters that allow him to pop off good for pve he was also good for pvp back then especially pairing him with like a uh, mimosa that could just revive him because he does have very very low uh, defense and he dies very quickly especially now in this meta um, that we are currently in with the Noel and Julius meta and the Valtos and Fenrir and stuff like that, he really doesn't get a chance to go until he dies and gets revived, uh, unless you are running a Valtos and uh, Fenrir combo with him, along with probably like a Noel or Julius just to slow people down or Lotus to slow people down. So I'm going to put him at A because he does get a lot of usability and uh, he is good for bosses um, as long as you can keep him alive. He's great for that. Um, and his abilities, they allow for him to output a fat amount of damage very quickly. Uh, and especially because he gets that follow-up term that he gets, uh, it just makes it better. Going on, we are going to look at our, this is, I guess, the JP servers, Asta. I didn't really use him, but looking at his kit, it I mean, I can see why they gave him away for free. I'm not going to put him at D, but I'll put him at C rank. Um, I don't really have much to say about him because, like I said, I didn't use him. But his kit looked very greedy for a tank, and it didn't look like it actually gave a lot. Possibly you could use him like in one of the dungeons for gear if you just didn't have another red tank available. But then you're kind of taking away the fact of being able to use your Asta DPS. So, uh, yeah, I would say just not a very good unit overall. The free Charlotte that we got, uh, honestly, she could be B or A. Uh, for usability, for my personal account, I did not use her that much. Uh, up until now, I just started utilizing her in some of the raid teams just to throw her in in spots to get that kind of um, damage bonus uh, that you get with her and the debuff that she gives to the enemies as well that allows you to take those extra turns once you kill them. Um, so I would say, I mean, she's probably an A unit, definitely, in regards to like the actual full usability that you can get out of her. But uh, in my account, I just didn't. Also, another unit, actually, I'm just going to grab him real quick, is um, freaking Rades. Where is he at? I have still not pulled this man. 
and uh, he is definitely going in A rank because I did not pull him at all, and he pisses me off, honestly. But he is a very good unit, and he is a necessity, um, or not a necessity, I don't want to say that. He is a a unit that allows you to get through content quicker if you had him in the dungeon and the gear dungeon uh, that he is respectively goes into. He is someone that makes that dungeon a hell of a lot easier <laughs> as where I was not able to use him. So I used other characters um, that allowed me to scrape through it, I would say. So yeah, looking at that, uh, I'll put him in an A. Uh, he's also used in PVP as well, but he's not necessity in PVP. Uh, because we have other units and stuff like that, like Fenrol, uh, definitely an S plus unit uh, for PvP. Just gives the speed buff. I mean, there's not really much else to say about him. He just allows your units to take turns quicker. And taking turns quicker is just kind of busted in this game. If you go more than the other person, then you're dishing out more damage. And especially if you are going faster than other Noels or Juliuses then you're able to kill the Noels before she gets her shields off and we're able to take away one of Julius's lives fast enough to where he has only one life left. And then usually you're going to have like a Noel and Julius or like Julius and another damage dealer on your team that just get rid of the other Julius a little bit quicker that allows you to kind of get in there. Charmy, um, man, she was an A plus unit for me. Um, I used her a ton in the early game before. I mean, I think up until season two came out, I still hadn't pulled a Mimosa um, or at Mimosa. I got off of the key. So I ended up using her later because I didn't gear her up or I build her at all. So I had invested everything into uh, Charmy, and this was before I spent a dime on the game. So I was completely free to play. Uh, she carried me through all of the PvE content. I mean, literally all the story that is out, she carried me through it and uh, allowed me to kind of get through a little bit higher ranks in PvP. I think all the way to Challenger tier, um, for the first uh, preseason or whatever it was, she allowed me to get there. When this Charmy came out, um, for me, she was also an A tier. I built her up to an LR, left her at like level 85 or 90, but I did utilize her in some content for like the dungeon and PVP. She has one of the highest defensive buffs in the game to date uh, that is out right now for global. So she is a very good healer to work around with and she's not greedy in her stats and everything. She just requires HP. So having an HP kind of a beefy freaking healer is a nice thing to do because a lot of times in PVP, keeping your healer alive long enough allows you to heal everyone else. Um, especially if you're giving that defense buff which is not allowing them to get one shot then overall a great unit uh she could be s or a honestly i mean she's number one a right now for me um and rades uh, obviously i did not use rades i still don't have him so i'm not saying that he's a bad unit i'm sure for other people's account he's up here in s rank and he got you through a lot of stuff but unfortunately i did not get to use him in terms of my account when it comes to uh fauna i'm not putting anyone in the d rank because i don't think any unit is just so awful that it deserves to be there. These are units that I did not use, uh, her or Fogelian. They're both sitting at LR with no gear on them. Gauche, I think people really underestimated him, honestly, and I'm still going to say that till today. I think he is an S rank unit. He is literally usable in every aspect of the game, uh, especially with certain units. He just excels the way that they work and their kit just pops off because of him. And I think they will continue to pop off because of him later on in the future, especially mono blue teams. Later on, he is a huge asset to anyone's team, and he doesn't take a lot of investment to make him good. Did not use this gauche at all. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to put the unusable people down here in D. Uh, did not use you. Did not use you. We'll just get these people out of the way real quick because I did not use any of them. Nebra, we are going with A rank. Everyone knows because she is used in the um, 
raid content and allows you to the guild boss content sorry not the raid content guild boss content it allows you to beat the red boss um so huge huge investment uh, not investment huge unit to have and use with her skill page directly uh, she helps for clearing that content and making it a lot easier same thing with him uh, I do not have or nor did I use him, but I know he is good. We're going to put him in the B rank because he is also used for very niche content. He is not out. Uh, Jack is definitely a D rank. <laughs> Sadly, he's a D rank. Julius, of course, let's get you in front, buddy. You are S rank. I don't think there's any reason to explain why this man is an S rank. Dude, once he kills someone, gets to go an extra turn. Every single one of his abilities has a slow or a stun. He has a uh, revive, self-revive. What is also crazy, if he dies and then dies a second time and then he's revived with Mimosa, he gets his revive back. So technically, he's just there all the time. She is an A rank healer. Don't care what people say. He is also an A rank damage dealer for bosses and stuff like that. Both of their kits are very well, but unfortunately they are overshadowed by people that came out before them. So in terms of global, these two characters right here just are worth a lot more in value because of the times that they came out, not because of their kits. So Lichten Raya. I would say on other servers, they probably were a lot higher tiered. Um, but for me, these two units, they served for the dungeon and that was it. I did not use them in PVP. I did not need to use them in PVP. Um, they did not benefit me in PVP whatsoever and nor will I. I, I just don't see why. Raya is used in some of the raid content, so I have used him a little bit more. But I'm going to put him behind Charmy because having the highest defense buff in the game, I, yeah, I just, you have the highest defense buff in the game. You're not going to go below. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Noel, we're going to put her right here because she was used in pretty much every content that is out in the game right now. And she's got such a crazy kit is that you can literally use her anywhere and help you clear anything with her if you have the right people around her. Yes, she is falling off a tad in PvP, but even then she's still used in most top tier teams. And I don't think she is going to fall off anytime soon with the way that the global meta is changing. Yeah, we're getting some dispel barriers on some characters in the next patch, but most people are probably not going to be pulling hard for those characters so we're not going to see that as a problem because we have the insight of the future of the game the way that our meta changes is going to be different because whenever this uh whenever these characters came out on uh jp or kr and stuff like that they didn't have the insight of what the characters were coming next and the order of which the characters were these were the new characters they had an option to choose to pull for them or not to pull for them so a lot of times characters that had a dispel barrier, they probably went for it because Noel was a problem and they wanted to get rid of her in PVP. But now we know the future and we can kind of plan around it. Uh, and plus global is a very free to play kind of um, server. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna skip that for now. Yes, you can get down there. Yes, you can get down there. Haven't used either any of these. I have them all at LR. Uh, I'll do an update video later on once I've put some time into them. Uh, I don't want to disrespect them because if people are using them and they're great, great. But I don't want to lie and say that I know all about these characters because I don't. Uh, this Noel, I used her a little bit just to get through some like bond patrols and stuff like that. But I think that is it. Mimosa was definitely an S rank character, but we're going to put you there because, well, let's be fair. She can go right here because she does allow for some kind of quirkery to happen in PVP. We'll put you down here with B. You did help get through some content. Mars, obviously we have you up here in the S rank. You're pretty much used on every team right now for pretty much anything except for the green that is just going to destroy you. 
Lotus, same thing. Uh, you know, I feel like I could have gotten through all of the content without him. He was so freaking hyped when the game first came out. He was the, like, if you don't get him, your account is ruined character. And I, honestly, I could not disagree more. And I wasted time re-rolling for this man. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like that was kind of just a completely overhyped character. Was he great in PvP? Yes. But if you had a Fenrir and a Valtos and you didn't listen to the one or two people making content when the game was first coming out, and instead of hyping him up and just going for Fenrir and Valtos and using them in PvP alongside like your Season 1 Asta, Season 1 Yami, or someone like that, he probably would have been less than an S tier, S tier in my opinion. He is not a necessity in anything except for maybe one piece of content that I felt like, oh, you know what? If I didn't have him on the team, it would have been a lot harder. But even then, I probably could have found a way to beat it just as easy, if not easier, with someone else. Real, also a very good character. Do, do, do. We will put him right here. I haven't used him that much except for like the newer raids and boss battles and stuff like that. But his kit is very fun and I'm interested to use it in the future unless they come out with a new version of him and completely just make him irrelevant. But he has a decent kind of supporty slash debuffy kit that allows for some um, fun stuff on some different areas of the game, especially like raids and dungeons and stuff like that allow you to clear through them quicker. I think... I was watching a video, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with the fastest clear time on a red dungeon, which was like 28 seconds or 25 seconds, and Rill was on the team. And if you guys go back and watch, I forgot which video is, I'll have to link it. But one of my videos, I was saying Rill is probably one of the best debuffers in the game, if not better than uh, Lotus. So I still stand by that right now and um, challenge me, please. Sally. Also, one of those, you know what, we're going to put her here. I don't think she deserves B, but I haven't played with her enough because myself, I fell into the trap when I first started making content for Black Clover to follow a couple of the bigger content creators that were making these teams, which I wish I didn't because I'm finding now uh, that kind of mainstream meta that everyone followed probably was not the best path to go with the way that these characters worked. I think there's some teams that would have allowed for a lot better synergy, which I'm going to be showcasing in the future coming up. The only difference is, is I'm not a whale, so I'm not going to have max dupes of every single character uh, or most of the characters in general till later on. So we'll have to play it by ear when it comes to like what they're actually doing. Let us move through these. Did not use you. Oh, she was definitely an S tier unit for me during the beginning of the game. She got a lot of use. Did not use you. Did not use you. Valtos, we know you're going to be right up here with Fenrir. You are used, again, another speed demon that allows you to do some corkery with him. Did not use you at all, Vanessa. Let's see him. I didn't even pull for him, but he is a character that I believe that does have some uh, potential in the future. He's coming out, so I haven't looked at his kit, but I'm sure he just trumps him in every way. William is up here in the S tier when it comes to the way his abilities and everything work for PvP and some boss battles and everything. He's also good for the um, Red Dungeon. He is also one of the units. I think it's Julius, uh, Gauche, William, and Rill uh, that is the best synergistic team to allow you to clear in the fastest time on the Blue Dungeon. That team right there buffs up William. Uh, buffs up William, buffs up Julius just enough to allow him to clear the dungeon as fast as possible. Yami, I did not pull him, but I know he is a great unit. We will put him right here. He will be above. Eh, I don't think he's better than Asta. I don't think he's better than a buffed Asta, built and used the right way. 
actually don't think he's more valuable than Charmy either, but eh, what am I to say? Blue Yami got some use out of the first couple of days for the blue dungeon, um, but he was easy to replace once we got some other characters, so I'm going to put him right here in A. His abilities and everything work very well with just not allowing people to heal in PvP, but most people didn't run healers anymore, so he kind of fell off. And, you know, I did not use you other than story. So this is kind of where I am uh, on my tier list. I will make an updated tier list more based off of all of the information and everything that we have coming after this next banner in the next four days. But this is going to be my first tier list that I make. And this is purely subjective. And uh, if you guys have any questions about why I chose certain characters in the tier that I did, or why I didn't put characters in a higher tier or lower tier based on that, please let me know down in the comments. I love to have thought provoking conversations and it allows us to veer off from just one or two other people's ideas in the community. I think that it's good to have um, insight and different opinions because it allows us to explore the game in different ways. And we're not just stuck chasing the same ideology of one or two different people in the community. Not saying that they're wrong because I promise you, most of the content and stuff that they've created, I've watched and I've used it to benefit through the account. But I started deep diving into each one of the characters' abilities and the synergies of things that people weren't talking about just to see if it worked. Um, and most of the time it does. And uh, if there is proof that people want to see like speed runs through certain content and everything i'll be more than happy to test those theories out and to record them to show you guys what i'm talking about other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just a fun kind of thought-provoking conversation starting video please hit that subscribe button it does help out so much and i'll see y'all in the next one